preview that's going out in our email today for the show specials for brother. That's going to be uh, cool. Yeah, so it shows all of the packages, but um, the price is uh, blanked out. Uh -oh. so. Well, is there anything like last year? They were really good. Yeah. Bring, what are you bringing to the show? We can't tell anyone. <laughs> I'll, I'll be bringing some of my designs, and hopefully I'm going to have something new to kind of debut there, if I get it in in time. <laughs> I'm very excited. Oh, oh. Rain, do you have your um, your project to show? Yes, I do. Um, I'm oh, going to be good. demoing, uh, I believe, the Stellaire. Did we decide the Stellaire? Yes, it's, yes. It's going to be a little... Oh, we, could do, we could do either one. So, okay. Hey guys. It doesn't matter to me. I can do it. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the show. We are just, I um, had the timer for live and we're live and we didn't even know we were live. At least we were, we were all being nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, welcome back. How's it going? This has been a couple weeks since I've been back in the studio and I actually spent the whole day yesterday cleaning and organizing. So, it looks good. And look, I have two fabulous guests with me today. We've got Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Hi, and, and Reen. You all know Reen and Barbara. Yes. So I thought it would be so much fun today to have those two on. And then when we're when I'm finished with them, I'm going to show you an unboxing behind me of my new blueprint box. Because a lot of you are guessing what project I actually got. Was it the quilting, the crochet, the knitting, or the sewing project? So a lot of you voted. <laughs> And about half of you got it right. So I'll do the unboxing when we're all done. But say hi to everyone. I see everybody running in. Oh. It's so nice to see everybody. Everybody's saying hi to you guys. Oh, hey, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all have like a motto like, ha? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Our, um, our wolf pack symbol is this. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. Well, um. I brought you girls on because I thought this was a great time. We only have two weeks away, pretty much, until the big show, or two yes. and a half weeks. Yes. We're so, so excited. You put together a schedule, and I'm thinking that everybody should know about when there's going to be Wolfpack meetings, and when there's going to be giveaways, and what to expect. And then Reen's on here because she's going to be there, and I want her to share what she's going to be doing, which this is a really cool project. So who wants to go first? Barbara, Reen? Oh, okay. Well, I'll go first. So we have, and I'm just going to have to look at the schedule here because we just put this together. And we're super excited. So in the booth on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, in the main brother booth on the main stage, Angela is going to be doing her XP1 Luminaire um, demonstration. And then at 4 o'clock... We're going to do the meet and greet on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, right? Four o'clock, 4 p.m. Yes. Texas time. <laughs> yes. And we're going to be meeting at the booth. And you know, I think why you did that is because you know what happens when I get on stage and start working on a luminaire? I could sit up there for like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I <laughs> and then you guys will all cut me off at four o'clock. Yeah. So it's so funny. I have to tell you the story because yesterday I spent all day obsessing about the content for the demo schedules and I emailed all these teachers like how oh, we're gonna do this and this and this and I was like but I'm just gonna make the titles the same so that it's easier to read for everybody so it's there's going to be a lot of great information in the in the demos but we're gonna have a lot of fun too for some, time. for some people who have never been there before they might not realize that you have a great demo stage that you can either walk by but you have some chairs. So if you want to sit and gather a lot of information, or maybe you're thinking about getting one of these machines, or you have the machine and you want to learn a bunch of demos, there's different people. Every half, is it every half an hour, right, Barbara? Yes, the whole yeah. time. <laughs> so give them a quick list of what, um, like the Luminaire, give the Stellaire with Jerry, right? Yeah, so um, we're going to have Kay England in the morning doing the Laura Star demonstrations. That's mm -hmm. the new. Uh, vacuum up and down ironing boards. Uh, Reen is going to be doing a special project. Do you want to talk about that, Reen? Sure. Because you're after K. <laughs> okay, good. I'm going to be doing a little in the hoop case. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to show you how to bring in a fill, one of the pretty fills off the machine. 
to create the outside of the case. Um, an iPod or a phone is going to be able to fit into it. It's going to be a nice, quick little project. Um, and I'll also be in my booth, inside of your booth, uh, <laughs> vending and bird regard uh, products and uh, doing more demos. With Carrie. Oh, with Carrie, yes. Yay. Carrie's going to be there. <laughs> so a uh, quick question, Lee. So anybody that comes can make this, or is it whoever's buying the Solaire, or is it just a make-and-take project for anybody? Well, I can just I, I can show them how to make it in the booth. I can show them, you know, a lot of different things on the uh, Luminaire. I think I'm also going to have the Disney Scan and Cut in the booth too. That's cool. That is very cool. on this little uh, project. I purposely left an open area here because I'm going to put a little Mickey or something off the Scan and Cut on here, kind of dress yeah. it up a little bit. And you want to know what's cool. fun about that? What? So with the Stellaire, you get not only you get a bunch of bunch of stuff that we can't talk about yet, but I can say this: with the Stellaire, you get this iPod Touch, and that wouldn't it be cool to have your own little case that Reen made yeah. to put it in? <laughs> I totally agree. That case is so cute. So I think some people don't even. I had some emails last week that people weren't paying attention to what the Stellaire was. We had so much. So much information about the Luminaire. The Stellar kind of was like the stepchild. <laughs> but, <laughs> I know that sounds... Stepchild are good, though. Stepchildren are good, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of, like, didn't get a lot of buzz. But the thing is, that machine is so awesome, and it has an app. So I had a couple of friends who were like, oh, gosh, app. We use apps all the time on our phones. Whatever we use. And the machine actually comes with the iPod, in some cases, like in yours. And so you don't even have to worry about having your phone there. This iPod can go just with that machine. So keep it off limits to everything else. And it's really cool. Yeah. It's the new product for 2020 from Brother. So it's Which I think is awesome. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of demos with that machine. And you'll see it has the stay stitch. It has the laser lights. It has so many features that are really cool and at a price point that I think is really good. And I know I haven't heard your prices yet, but if it's anything like last year, what you did to all the new machines. <laughs> it's awesome. It's, I am truly amazed this year. I didn't think that we could do this well, but like we worked really hard with Brother and... Um, all brands is giving a lot. So it's, I'm the most excited this year that I've ever been about our specials at the Houston Cult Festival. But guess who else is showing the Stellaire? Who? Someone else that's going to be there that we all love. It's he. Jerry's? His, yeah. His name's Jerry. Jerry Granada. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's going to be on the show maybe next week. He was traveling to an event today, or he was going to join us as well. Oh, everybody loves Jerry. His work is so awesome. For people that were just, I was just at an event in California, and he was there. His quilts are amazing, but you know what? He made the rouge tea. He made the rouge tea in a little kid's size and had embroidered lace sleeves, and oh my gosh, it was so cute. But he has a project for anybody that's coming. I'll have to remind him that he brings this. He made... And I don't know if he did it, I think he did it on the Stellaire, where you can scan in, uh, it was like fabric. So he had striped fabric on the bottom of this dress. It was like, I don't know, eight different colors or something like that. He scanned it in the Stellaire and turned that fabric into satin stitches. So the whole top of this dress is actually embroidered satin stitches. That matches the fabric down below because he scanned it in. It was I had to do a double take because when he said this is stitched and this is fabric, I looked closely and it was like he picked the exact same colors. It was really cool. So anybody coming to see his demos, you've got to see that dress. Oh my god! <laughs> Gary, if you're watching, please bring that dress. Bring I'll find a form. <laughs> oh my hey, gosh! Hey, Green. Uh, Caroline says she loves the sunflower you're wearing. Oh, yeah. thank you. Oh, Mickey's wearing our hats that we're giving away to Michelle. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so, know that. You get a hat. How many did you get? Yeah. You, you were out of hats last year. You sold Yeah. <laughs> we brought 40, and this year we're bringing 80. So wow. we should be good. <laughs> That's awesome. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so, Reen, what, what do you have going on in your booth? 
Okay, so anybody that isn't going, that you just have to visualize this. And don't worry, we will have one giveaway that you will be able to enter for all of you that don't come like we did last year. So the people that are coming at 4 o'clock every day for the giveaways, that we're giving away an iron, right, Barbara? Yes. And fun. then we'll have one giveaway that will draw one winner for all of you that can't come. So don't worry, you can still participate. But if you've never been there, you have to picture this huge booth. I mean, it's like two aisles long and wide. You can't miss it. There's a stage, and then there's little booths within the booth. That's what Reed said, I'm your booth within the booth. So just so you can picture, it's all the all brands area, but Reed has a section of her own, which I tried to snap a purse out of last year because I was trying to do a live video and I forgot my purse, and she had these really cute cork uh, crossover ones. So what are you bringing us for eye candy this year, Reen? Oh, I'll have some more cork things. Um, hopefully, I'm going to have something brand new and special to uh, launch at the Quilt Festival. Top secret? Yes. Oh. I'm, waiting, I'm waiting to get the shipment in. I'm hoping uh -oh. that it's here by uh, the Quilt Festival. Um, Can you give us a hint? Just a, just a small hint? A hint. Just a little. Oh, uh, let's see. How about garden? And garden. And lace. <laughs> A vase? Okay. Lace. Lace. Garden. Oh, lace. oh. <laughs> Garden and lace. Uh, I think I know what that is, but I'm not going to say, but I already know. Too. As long as it's not a real garden, because I don't do very well with those. <laughs> I, have a, I have a new product that we're bringing. What's that? It looks, um, it's brand new. So it, this is it. It's a... Uh, let me bring a you up. It's a you special pen. Show us again. That it's a, um, let's see, a heated oh, tip wow. stylus that works perfect for my design center work. And we're calling it my artist, my design artist pin. Yes. And it's for, it has like a very fine tip that's heated so that it's a lot easier to use than the, um, Oh yeah, the thicker stylus that comes with the XP1. So we're gonna give that away with the machine, along with seven thousand dollars worth of extra stuff too. Oh, <laughs> so God. that's our new thing. So. I like that. Then, can you give any? Um, Are you there? Yeah, we're here. Can no, you I'm see? Here. Can oh, you hear me? No, you're here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, what else? Are you? I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> but I'm gonna show y'all if I'm the only one on the screen now. All Brands has a web page for Houston, and it looks like this. I'll just show you my computer screen. Oh, nice. Um, let's see. It is the Houston Quilt Festival, so that when you go to the All Brands website, www.allbrands.com, you can select this, and then you'll see all of the educators. So we have... Kay England, Angela Wolf, Reen Wilcoxon, Philip Olchi, who's HP Olchi's son of Bernina, Stacy Louie, Paula Reed, Jerry Granada, Danelle McAdams, Cindy Hogan, Barb, Mike Lychek, Colleen Sweatman, Brent Taylor, and all of these folks, along with some videos. That's a lot of people, of people that are coming. Barbara? Uh, we will be announcing our top secret show specials without the prices uh, within the next week. So um, I was asking Reen. Can I don't you know hear me, Barbara? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. I can hear you too, Reen. Yeah. No, like it was like magic. <laughs> Hi, Reen. <laughs> we, were, we were doing sign language earlier. I can't wait for the I'm excited. So, I have not downloaded that app, but that app will really help you get around the show. Um, oh, so y'all saw what I just did? Going through oh, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who I was talking to. <laughs> we were all on here. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that app, though, is really helpful. And do you, yes. what booth are you in? Do you know it by heart? We are in... Our booth numbers are 1035 and 1034 is 
and 11.35 is brother. And then I think 10.47 is so steady and westerly. 11.24 is our E16 booth, uh, which is the 16 needle commercial machine. And we're gonna do 9.47 is ever sewn. So this is the biggest booth. I like big booths. I cannot <laughs> lie. You like big hoops that I cannot lie. And I don't have my size matters cup today. <laughs> so hey, Green, tell us what's going to be in your booth. What can people expect to see there? Green can't hear me, so I'll write it on a piece of paper. <laughs> go through we do have another special guest who's a vlogger I don't know if you've met her before but her name is Becky Thompson she's new oh okay <laughs> I love your handwriting Reen I mean Angela <laughs> so she can hear you but she can't hear me uh, I need to drink my coffee now <laughs> So, um, can you hear us? I, I can hear you, but I, I can't hear Angela. Oh, okay. So Angela asks, what are you bringing? <laughs> all I can see, I can see you. That's all I can see. I don't even know if you're on there or not. So, so um, my sign has no effect at all. I'm going to bring garden products. Um, hopefully I'm going to have something new to debut there if I get my shipment in. Um, Carrie's going to be with me. I'm going to be, what's my booth number? 1034? Uh, 10, I, yes, 1034. I I 1034. I'm going to have a Luminaire mm -hmm. and the Disney Scan and Cut and show people yeah. some things on that. So, mm -hmm. and just have fun. The World <laughs> Festival is a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, so the schedule is four o'clock. Anybody that's there, that's when the book pack meeting is on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Those are the three days that I'm there. And and then you have, a, don't you have something else on um, Thursday? Was it a uh, Halloween? So oh. we're all we're all dressing up as Mickey's and Minnie's. This is my uh, mini ears, but we're going to have a costume contest on Thursday and we will have a um, like a vote to win and then in a raffle cage and then uh, it'll take about 30 minutes. So on Thursday at 12 o'clock noon, right after your uh, cover him demonstration, Angela. Oh, we're yeah. going to be having our Halloween costume contest voting and prizes for the winner. So anybody that wants to be creative and do something uh, fun, dress up, uh, you can participate in that. Or you could just come and see all the fun costumes. Well, and you know, um, cosplay is such a big thing nowadays. So this is going to be ideal. If you're dressing up, if you're a cosplayer and you're coming to the show, be sure to come to the booth. <laughs> Oh, um, Reen, she, she was saying that cosplay is fun. <laughs> and yeah. if you do costumes, you should come to the booth. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, girls, this is really fun. I think I had a few people ask questions if I would post a link to the app and things like that. I'll try to put a blog post together with all of these links to the all brands so you'll know everything that's going on so you can't miss it. And on our website, the big top banner will continuously um, post new updates like the demo schedule, the preview of, this, of the show specials that we're going to have at the show. We're also going to um, put like the layout and everything and just any new information we're going to update there and on our Facebook group. So www www.facebook.com and then we're at all brands 1976 um, right. and then you can um, uh, join the event there and we'll be posting new information so and we'll also have for those that are that can't attend we'll have Facebook live shows going on 
Instagram stories. So whatever social media platform you're on, you'll get to at least hang out with us for a while. That's always fun. Last uh, last year and the year before, um, in the mornings, I would do a walk in to show the crowds that are waiting. This time I'm going to do it on the evening, Wednesday night. And I have to say that everybody was asking me what booth I'm in and asked for credit card information. They were ordering, Rhonda particularly, they were ordering from the booth while I was walking by, <laughs> showing oh all my gosh. gosh. So, uh, Reen, Angela was just saying that she's going to be doing some Facebook Lives when she comes into the event. Are you going to be doing any Facebook Lives? Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah. Well, just let us know and we'll post it to our events page so that people know when to tune in. All right. Uh, Sounds good. I was asking uh, what machine we were talking about at the beginning. At the beginning, we were talking about the Stellaire. And we're also talking about the Luminaire. There will be demos on the Stellaire, the Luminaire. I'm doing demos also on the double cover stick machine. Hello. And Reen is, Reen's doing a demo on the Stellaire on the stage, but the Luminaire in our booth because yeah. that's, of course, the best. And we only give the best to the best. So. <laughs> demos on both of that. So if you're one of those people that have asked me how to do the cover stitch in the round where you end the stitches, I'll be doing that on stage. That's when you will put your fingers across and nothing goes wrong, right? <laughs> yeah. And then what else do we have? We're going to be doing like the new Disney Scan and Cut demonstration is going to be done by Cindy Hogan and new to the stage, Rosemary Castillo Sarton. Yay! She's wonderful. We love her a lot. Um, Wesley is going to be doing dem different demonstrations every day. Um, Jerry's doing the Stellaire. Colleen's going to show you a bunch of stuff on the Brother 10 Needle with My Design Center and quilting with a multi-needle machine, which is so exciting. That's uh, going to be cool. Yeah, BES4 and the new upgrades. Um, the Luminaire camera and projection and quilting with My Design Center is Barb Mike Lychek. Very nice. Which, anyone who could spell that in the, um, in the comments? <laughs> Her last name. I will send you a free iron. There you go. <laughs> you better be careful. Barb might be out here. She'll spell it Just right one. Name. Just the first one that spells it right in the life feed. <laughs> it's Barb Michael Lightcheck, Brother Dashel Educator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Esther wants to know the difference between the Stellaire and Luminaire. Well, there's a lot of differences. In fact, Esther, um, since you mentioned that, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be posting a lot of things with the Stellaire to show off uh, some of the features that it has that you don't realize that it has. It's, it's different than the Luminaire. The Luminaire is like the top, best of the best, and the Stellaire still has awesome features, but a much less price point. That's that's the main key. Yeah. There. And the Stellaire has an app, which is no other machine has had that. So it's an app for your embroidery placement. You can take photos. In my last class, this girl took a photo of her jean jacket, like on her, she had like a, uh, not light, but she had a pocket. <laughs> and she was trying to put my lace design on the pocket. So she took a photo of that, uploaded it to the machine, and she was able to do it right there. I mean, I learned stuff from her. It was pretty cool. So you'll be, anybody coming to the show, you'll get to play on all these machines. Yeah. So. so the Stellaire is available in embroidery only or the combination of sewing and embroidery. So, and the Stellaire has my design center in it, which is, I think, the big kicker. And I, and the embroidery only Stellaire XE1, I think, is going to be very popular. Um, well, you know, but the Luminaire has projection in embroidery and stitches, and mm -hmm. it has the built in camera, so no need for the, the um, smart device. Um, everything is like at your fingertips, there's just a lot. A lot more in the XP1. I was pretty excited to see that it came out with embroidery only because I have to admit my Luminaire I don't think has sewn very much. <laughs> and that was the same with even previous machines because if you love the way it embroiders and you see the placement then you're not going to take you're just not going to use it for sewing because it's so busy embroidering all the time. In fact I yeah. just changed my Luminaire earlier today to do some free motion quilting on the top that I'm working on. And that's the first time that it wasn't official quilting. <laughs> I mean, embroidery, but that was still free motion. So, it, yeah. yeah. I have a separate sewing machine to embroidery machine, so I can do two at one time. But That's cool. Um, yeah. So. All right, girls. Well, 
Thank you for coming on, Reen. I'm sorry you couldn't hear me, but I'll have Barbara replay. <laughs> Reen, she's so sorry that you couldn't hear her. So, That's um, right. Kelly, I'm Kelly said, enjoying it. <laughs> Kelly said, um, you girls, uh, I can hear you fine, but I, you ladies need to share the wine with us. And <laughs> <laughs> no wine yet. It's a little early on the East Coast. <laughs> I don't know what's in your cup, Angela. I don't have somewhere, right? <laughs> oh, man. Um, Leslie, okay, so this is a, before I let you go, Leslie has a question because you probably could answer this better, Barbara, because you know all machines. Um, of course, I'm by brother because I'm your brother brand ambassador. But um, what is the best sewing only machine? I mean, I have my opinion on this. I think the PQ 1500 is hands down the best sewing only because it just sews and it's fast. And but it's it just straight stitch. So if you want buttonholes or other types of uh, line hem or anything, you're not going to get that with that. What's but, your favorite sewing machine sewing only? Oh. Ask Reen. Reen, what's your favorite sewing only brother machine? I think the combination ones are better. Like I say, I would say the XP one is the best sewing machine of all, but it just oh, so happens to include embroidery. That's right. my opinion. I do have uh, one of the project runway machines just to, you know, sew on when my other two machines are busy yeah. embroidery. <laughs> yeah. I need space though. So that BQ 3050, the new uh, brother quilting top of the line sewing only Mm -hmm. I think is is the best sewing machine available. And it has like the laser guide on it, which is very helpful. And the longer throat size. Are you going to have that machine at the quilt festival? Yes. We that will. longer throat is such a big deal for sewing. And I don't think, um, if you don't realize what that is, the foot, the J foot's longer. So when you're sewing, it actually can go over humps without like the little shorter foot that's you know, that makes wonky stitches. That's a big deal. I mean, that is, when they came up with that a few years ago, now that's the only kind of machine I would go to. And you can even find less expensive machines with that now in the Brother series. Um, I think, you know, it's just what what can you afford on the level of what you want. I mean, I can think of when I first bought a nicer machine many years ago when I was designing custom apparel, I bought a machine that had all the bells and whistles and it never did anything except go forward and backwards as fast as I could. <laughs> and if you so it's really what do you what's your yeah. for what you need it for? Yeah, I think that the move it foot is a really important feature to have. Like the brother exclusive walking foot that's mm -hmm. called move it. And it has the roller instead of like the teeth that feed yeah. the fabric backwards on top. And the BQ series machines have that. And then you can use quarter inch attach the quarter inch attachment uh, you could like switch out the feet on that and I think that 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 would be uh one to do some research on Leslie that's what is really, really great April, yeah. April said what um what's the best sewing machine with directional sewing capabilities well there's a few capabilities <laughs> I would say they're all equal because it's the same layout yeah, I'm pretty sure the BQ 3050 has the directional sewing on it, too. Yeah. I would start with that because then you're going to, like, you'll find out which features you like. And then if you want to take some away, you can always um, go down because it's Wednesday. So, uh, Wednesday. You're gonna have, <laughs> Barbara, you're going to have your work cut out because there's, like, about 50 spellings for Mac Blackjack in there. And so you're going to have to go back and see who, because I can't even spell it correctly. Okay, um, I can't see it from here, but Angela, if you send me the person's information, I'll say, um, should I tell you the spelling now, or do you think they may all be incorrect? Mm, I'm not seeing the correct one yet. Okay. You know, Barb is a very good seamstress as well for garment sewing. She, she is. is. Her stuff is gorgeous. Top notch. For sure. She did um, some of the cosplay costumes at the Last Brother convention that we went to, and she did Captain America, which was really... <laughs> That's cool! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and this year we decided to put a big Texas flag in our booth, since we have locations in Texas. Nice. So 
I, I know that's random, but I just thought that was something I should have. <laughs> well, the first time I ever taught at your stores, I drove from one end in Louisiana all the way and ended up in Texas, which it was six days. Which I was I, That was a crazy trip, but it was fun. And I remember pulling, crossing the border to Texas, and it was like instant. Like Texas flags and pickup trucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this place is cool. <laughs> Of course, that was just for a small stretch, but I did think it was hilarious. So, yeah. I love Texas. Irene, what's your thoughts of, of Texas? We were talking about how um, there's a lot of big flags in Texas. <laughs> I like Texas. <laughs> Carolyn, hey, Carolyn, I know you. <laughs> yeah, I've been there three times this year. Yay. I love Texas. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. weather's usually good, except usually. At the Houston Quilt Fest, would you say in the last five years, three, we've had like massive rainstorms. <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas, even the quilt shows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the biggest. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you. And I'll, we'll go back and see who spelled it right. And out of all the ones that spelled it right, we'll just do a random drawing. How's that? Yes. I have the iron right here. I will now, send it. So that way, just in case, I know some people put it live, they try to post, and it stops. So... Uh, tonight, when I get um, download this video, I'll go through, and anybody that spelled the name right, I'll send them over to Barbara, and we'll do a random drawing. Yay! All right, well, girls, I'm going to go do an unboxing for this uh, blueprint box that I have behind me, because my fans have been trying to guess. Just try to guess. I had four box options. Sewing, quilting, crochet, or knitting. Which box do you think I'd pick? Okay, so, Rain, it's a blueprint box. She had sewing crochet knitting and something else guess what's in the box i missed that last one i don't see angela's a crocheter blueprint yeah okay so you want us to guess what's in the box yeah so they uh blueprint started a new subscription service and so it's an annual service and you get a quarterly box so they asked if i would just check it out and see what's going on i said sure so I was looking at the four projects. One was a cute bag, one was quilting, one was crochet, and one was knitting. So you get to pick one. So you got to pick one. Yeah. And I get to, we get to guess which one you picked. Yeah. Quilting? What? Yes, I saw the bag. <laughs> the bag was so, um, like I have a million bags and I know how to sew a bag. So I thought I'm going to get a box. I almost did the crochet because I love crochet, which I was laughing when Rain said. Too. Rain, yeah. I was Rain left. She, she walked away from her table. She's like, I can't take it. She went to go order her blueprint box. <laughs> <laughs> so I was asking her from which box you think I got because now let me tell you why I got the quilting and I'm going to do the unboxing here. But uh, I chose the quilting because it was a really cool, um, I'm not a really good quilter because I'm not good with the terms, but I think it's what you call goose something. Uh, I, yeah, flying piece. Yeah, flying piece. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's like triangles. That's yeah. triangles. And it was so cool. So I wanted to see if the project came where the triangles are already cut, which would be a bonus, and then I'm going to make okay. it and I'm going to cut it up and turn it into sleeves. Oh, cool. Yeah. So That's we'll awesome. Aw. Well, I'd like to see them. Thank you. And thanks, Wolfpack. Y'all are so great. And say, uh, tell Barbara that uh, give her an A plus because she's the one that's given all of our irons out and everybody's uh, saying that they know Barbara. Barbara's a great, she's awesome. Yes. And everybody's, Barb's going to be like super famous by the time we're done here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the most Google's going to like give her better rankings. Hey, Joanne's on here. Joanne says uh, she guessed that I picked knitting. Nope, Joanne. Oh, hey, Joanne. I think Joanne just went on a uh, cruise. I saw that. I was so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, we'll watch the end of the family, and um, I will see you uh, in two weeks. Yes. Super excited. Stay tuned on our um, on our page and on Facebook, and we'll continue to put more information up. Sounds awesome. See ya. Okay. Everybody's still trying to do Barb's name. So a couple new things this week. I, uh, thanks Joanne for the, uh, happy, happy anniversary. And Joanne, I can't wait to see photos from your cruise. 
I'm sure Joanne will be coming on here soon. We have a Brother Sewing News live show coming up this month to talk about some of the new things going on, uh, new things on the blog. And I have some new projects to share with you, but I can't, I can share them next week. That's all I can say. But they're going to be really fun. I think you'll like it. Just um, more sewing and fashion. And my camera was blurry when I went to the other camera, so I'm not going to go use it. But I have a dress form from Joe here, the new ones, and I'm going to bring them on next week's show. Uh, I think Joe's traveling, but I'm going to bring the dress forms on so you can see the difference between the new ones and the old ones. These are pretty cool. And you know my UPS guy? He's awesome. I put a little note on the door. Please don't deliver anything till Tuesday. I was gone the whole week. And you know what? He held it, which was nice. So it didn't get shipped all the way back to California. Um, Patty wants to see the quilt pattern again. All right, Patty. Let me see. If I don't move very fast, what does it show? Is that better? Oh, you want to see some of the pics again? <laughs> Clear as a bell. All right. You want to see the photos again? Let me see. This is like a Groundhog Day. <laughs> All right, hold on one sec. And I'll show some of these on tomorrow. Don't forget, Fashion Sewing Club members, tomorrow is our live Q&A. I've got some really fun projects for us tomorrow. But let me just look up these photos one more time. So that was the dinner. See my one beer in the wine bucket? All right. There's Glenda and her husband, Pete. She made him the Linda tunic. There's Jerry. He was giving us the wolf pack signal. He was trying to be, he, I said, do the wolf pack signal. <laughs> he might come on the show next week if he's not traveling. Oh yeah, here was Glenda's, see if this one comes in. Look at Glenda's bag, isn't that cool? Yeah, Karina made that. There's Blaine. You all met Blaine. And there are a ton of photos, but let me just see. I'll show you the, the dress one more time. Here you go. That's what it looked like. So the skirt I draped in the Fashion Sewing Club a few weeks ago, it took just less than an hour to make. It was, I'm gonna make, I think, five of those in every color. Well, I mean, how many colors are you going to really wear? Maybe three. I'm exaggerating. But a dark navy would be great. A red would be fabulous for the holidays. And then here is... I'll be posting these somewhere. But right now, they're all on my phone. So, yeah. Okay. So, if you guys don't have any questions, I'm... Um, Angie says, flying geese. I think that'll look great, and I think it'll be great sleeves. Totally. That'll be a great quilt or fashion, says Arnell. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to let you go because I have a whole pile of work to do, and the jacket is not out. So those of you in the Fashion Sewing Club, two things. One, if you're not, if you're not in the Fashion Sewing Club, you can still see episode one on my YouTube channel channel for the Chloe jacket so long. It doesn't launch on PBS until next week, but I wanted to get that up. All of the other videos will start launching shortly after. But if you're in the Fashion Sewing Club, all the videos are in there, one right after the other, so you can binge watch with no interruptions. So I got that up. The Chloe jacket is this close. I'm just finishing a couple things on the plus size pattern. So, you know, I always think I can work on this on the road, but when I'm doing this, I have to have three screens because I'm moving stuff around and I it just, it's impossible on a little laptop. So I got that going on. I've got a couple new projects that I can't share with you yet, but next week I'm sure I'll be able to. And I got the place clean. I guess that's all that matters, right? <laughs> so have a great day. Uh, it was great seeing all of you. Thank you for joining. And Barbara and Reen, thank you for coming on. That was so funny that nobody could hear each other, but hey, I think we did pretty good. All right, bye you guys. Have a good day.
Did I lose? Hold on one sec. I think Barbara, are you on there? I oh, the joys of live. I uh, know. I'm going to jump out and then I'm going to jump back in. Okay. I Let me. Um... <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it's fun, like a party. Woo! <laughs> Oh man, that's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>